Welcome back to the video library. Welcome back to the video library. Today we're going to be discussing GL code setup in the accounting section of tools and options. First we'll need to navigate to tools and options and then accounting. In the chart of accounts is where we'll set up our GL codes. As you can see here we have some set up already and you can filter them by store. If I go to all, I'll see all the location stores and their appropriate information below. To add a GL code, we're going to go over to the right hand side, hit add, and in here we're going to be given some options to input some information. The two most important pieces of information that need to be typed in are going to be the GL code number, which is this first section here. So let's say our number is 1001, and then the description. I'm just going to put test. This number here, though, does need to be identical to whatever accounting software you guys are using. So if there's periods and then more letters, numbers, anything of that nature, whatever identically lines up to the accounting package that you're using will need to be entered in here, as well as the name. The below information on all these drop downs is entirely up to you whether you put them in. Some places like to put what kind of um, jail code it is. For example, fixed asset, accounts receivable, etc. But it's totally up to you whether you fill these in or not. Like I said, the number and the name are going to be the most important and needed bits of information to be typed in. Then we'll need to pick the location. If your location does have store codes, you'll need to check the box of the appropriate locations for this GL code number. In this example, I'll check them all, and then we simply hit save. Now that our GL code is added, as you can see here, under all the stores that it needs to be, we can then link it up to the appropriate sales categories. To do that, we'll navigate down to reference tables, sales categories and then we'll find our appropriate sales category that we need to attach it to for example events registration in here if this geo code is for this category we'll link it up under the geo code section here if this geo code differs between stores we will not Put it into here but we'll actually go down to store gl code setup and pick the appropriate store that, that gl code lines up with this only needs to be done if the gl code differs between stores if this number is applicable for all locations this location here in the third drop down is where it'll go and then we just simply hit save as we can see here now, this number is linked up with this sales category. You can go through and appropriately assign each general ledger code here using that method. We also have geocode copying. If this number applies to many G sales categories, we can use the copying feature. We'll pick the source, which is event registration since we just did it and it's attached to the 1001 and then we'll assign it to the other appropriate GL codes by clicking box next to the sales category. After you hit OK that GL code will then be linked up to all of the checkboxes using the source category. This has been the GL code setup review. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to contact support.